What if agriculture didn't mean rows of the same crop, but instead mimicked a food forest? Today we are diving into permaculture, a way of growing food that works with nature, not against it. Welcome back to Fresh K Town. Permaculture, short for permanent agriculture, is a design system for sustainable living and farming. It's about creating self-sustaining ecosystems that produce food, regenerate soil, support biodiversity and just work like nature does. In permaculture, instead of planting one crop in neat rows, you plant many different species together so they support each other. The goal is low inputs, high resilience and minimal environmental harm. The magic to making that happen is to profit from natural symbiosis. For example, legumes like beans or clover can fix nitrogen from the air, feeding nearby plants naturally. Tall plants provide shade or wind protection for smaller ones, creating microclimates that help everything thrive. Even the use of pesticides can be avoided because by keeping insects around, natural predators like birds and frogs take care of pests for you. Animals can also play a key role in permaculture. Chickens, ducks or even goats can contribute by fertilizing soil with manure, eating weeds and pruning shrubs, turning waste into productivity and fueling the natural interactions within the system. It's like a mini ecosystem that grows food, heals itself and supports life all at once. Now you might be thinking, so I just let it grow wild? Well, not quite. While permaculture reduces effort in the long run, it still requires work, especially in the beginning. You'll need to design the system, introduce the right plants and animals, prune, replant and occasionally adjust things to keep the balance. But the beauty is, over time it becomes more self-sustaining and requires fewer inputs than conventional farming. So why choose permaculture? First off, it reduces soil erosion since it doesn't rely on tilling. It also uses fewer external inputs like synthetic fertilizers or pesticides. It supports biodiversity both above and below the ground and finally it reconnects people with natural rhythms, turning farming into something more natural, regenerative and alive. It's not just a technique, it's also a mindset. But permaculture isn't without challenges. It usually requires more manual labor and because it's a diverse system, it's hard to mechanize or predict yields like in large-scale monocultures. Also, since each setup is unique to its location, there is no one-size-fits-all recipe. It takes observation, trial and time. And for now, permaculture is more suited to small-scale or community-based food systems than large-scale commercial farming. In the end, permaculture isn't about growing plants. It's about growing systems that feed us over a long time while also healing the planet. That's it for today's video. Would you try a permaculture setup in your garden? Let me know down below. If you learned something new, leave a like, subscribe and let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed. Until next time, keep on growing, peace.